with all the roles you ever did, man, what role do you regret doing the most? Where you like, man, I wish I never did that shit. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Well, I'm not saying I regret doing three strikes because it wasn't really too much in there other than my ass being in the sling in the air and the, with a diaper on. That's like you can't never take that back. But um, like I said, it's acting. I'm working. I'm getting compensated for what I do. And I'm a professional. So if it's any part, I wouldn't say movie. But a part in the movie would be lockdown where the character, my character got raped. Um, I didn't want to do that scene, but it was already written in the script. I already had the part. So the director, Mr. John Lusson, Hobbs, shout out, you know, I was like, man, I don't see the relevance of not getting the character getting raped because people get raped all the time in prison. Not today like they did back in the 80s or the 70s, but unfortunately that it happened and um not to me thank god never and um but i think the character had to get a dude fellatio head or something he, he gotta act like it so that's i cried after doing that scene i hated that i, I told the director man you know i don't see the relevance of this happening because uh, a real i'd have bit the dude shit off excuse my language but in reality, I'm not finna just let me put anything in my mouth. You're not getting it back. Come on, man. Who would? Who would? Who would? You gotta kill some. You had to murder me, man. I hated that. I will take that back. Damn, man. I hate to hear that, man. How was you feeling when you had to act that out? Well, the 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 actor, in actuality, I'm on the bed. And the actor is way over here. But from the camera angle, it looked like I'm we're right, I'm right in front of him. So all I'm doing is this. Going doing this. And he's making facial uh moans and, uh, and all that, man. And so it was like I never it never it wasn't real. It was acting, but I could see like from people watching it, it looked it re it looked real. And it was, it was, I hate that. I hate that, man. I can't take it back. And you said you cried, yo? Yeah. I, um, at the film in the scene, one shot, excuse me, one take, because I told him I'm not finna do this over and over and over. I walked off the set, went somewhere secluded, and I cried, bro. Cause I felt like I just had a uh, did something that wasn't necessary, you know what I mean? It wasn't me. It wasn't in my spirit. My spirit was uncomfortable. And if I could go back, I wouldn't do it. 